Hello everyone, welcome to Scotch Avenue. Okay, today we will present you with um, a tissue free university in Germany. Okay, one thing about studying in Germany is that uh, most of the uh, universities is free, a little bit free. Then you don't need to be worried to pay tuition fee as compared to UK, Canada, USA and other countries. In Germany, most of the universities are free for both local and international students. Okay, today we channel on one university, that's University of Munster, University of Munster. Okay, this university is one of the oldest university and also a research-based university located in Germany. Okay, it has a lot of um, programs that they run, but for English taught courses, they have a few programs for English taught courses. Okay, um, applying to this university is quite um, complicated. When applying to this university, their application portal is very, 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 very complicated. You end up messing up or not choosing the right programs. Okay, so this is the university. Okay, for, for you to have access to um, the university website, I'll drop it on the um, description up section. When you go there, you can see the link to the university. Okay, so when you are accessing this university, uh, make sure that you use a, a Google Chrome browser so that it will automatically translate um, the language to English for you. Okay, so now um, I've already um, searched for the university, University of Monster. I'll just click on it. Okay, this is the view of the university. This is the website of the university. Okay, so one thing about most of the universities in Germany is that you pay only less than 400 euros. You pay only less than 400 euros. That's for a semester fee. They have a fee that they pay. Okay, um, let's go to the cost and financing. So that you see, okay, the semester fee. Okay, the semester fee is only 316.94 euros. 316.94 euros. That's very, 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 very small for everyone. Everybody can afford this university. Okay, so then this university too offers some scholarships. It offers some scholarships for both local and international students. Um, it has scholarships here. You can check it out. They have a lot of scholarships for international students. They are the local ones. You can apply to it. To it. Okay, so. Um, when you get there, you can just go through it with a scholarship or you can apply to them when you get your admission letter. Okay, um, because the their, their tuition is free, the scholarship will provide you a, a, a mega money. The money will be very small, let's say the money will be around 500. Um, euros or thousand euros maximum so because the the tuition is free so okay then with this school as i said earlier that's applying to this university it's very 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 tedious okay many international students find it very very difficult in applying to this university because their their portal is not other user friendly you you find it very difficult to navigate to their portal 
others find very very difficult okay so as I'm an international student um, I'll go to the um, international nav navigation then I'll look it to prospective students so there is one thing about applying to universities is that you should make sure that you 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 read a lot about the courses that you want to do in that university. Okay, so they have more programs. I'll put here more than two hundred eighty. Um, the big programs. Then also. Okay, since I'm from English speaking country, I'll prefer um, programs taught in English language. Okay, so I'll select the English language programs. Then these are the English taught programs. These are the English taught programs. Okay, they have a bachelor degree courses to here bachelor degree course only one bachelor degree, degree, degree course taught in english that's um, bachelor of science human movement in sports and exercise then most of the english those courses are for master's degree so we have um, master of science business development we have master of science um dispersal technologies we have um, geoinformatics and special data science information systems public sector innovation and e-governance you have um, physics sports and science human performance British and the rest okay so now let me take in one course for example let me take in one course that I want to do so I'll just click on the course then I'll click on more information about Master of Science in Information Systems okay so this is the program this is the program that they run at the university this is the program that they run at the university okay so it's it's very good for you to read a lot about the university or the program that you want to do before you start your application okay so these are the requirements for the um for the course itself the proof of english proficiency maybe if you are you're from english speaking country you don't need to to be providing all this because your 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 courses you already because that you learned your country is already taught in english so she read a lot about it these are all the requirements she read about it okay so let me choose another course so that we go through then see then see and go back let's go to um business development okay okay every 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 courses have every course have um its own um, deadline okay so it is um the master the degree title is Master of Science, the scope 120, great. Then we have um, period of study, that's for two years, that's four semesters. Then it starts, it commences in October. Then language, English, classroom size with individual guidance, um, application period. So the deadline is 15th um, July, 2023. So you can you have to fast track your application if you want this university you have to do so okay so you read you read a lot about this university 
you go there with the lots and what this you will see okay so now let's try then apply to um a course i'll choose this um business development i'll choose this so you can see application apply now until that okay so i'll click on any of them the application i'll click on here okay then after the area i told you that it's good for you to prefer um google chrome because it will auto translate the language from german to english for you all right so here we are the application portal it is the first phase so start here with your online application so just select your nationality i'm from ghana so i'll choose ghana I'll choose Ghana. Um, there's Ghana. I'll choose Ghana. And then they ask in which country did you obtain your school? Ghana. Okay, you live in Germany? No, I don't live in Germany. Have you already studied in Germany or at the university abroad or are you still enrolled at the university? Okay, with this, um, those going for a master's um, degree, when you choose no, it will ask you for uh, with the F fcp or ftp or so um score it's it's good for you to choose yes yeah before you choose yes then yeah, ask him have you completed your studies or are you about to complete them yes in which country did you obtain your university in ghana Would you like to study a master degree? Okay, there's it. Then choose when I started here. We started earlier. I told that when you choose um, no, under the have you, they ask a question have you already studied in Germany or at university abroad or are you still enrolled in at university? When you choose no, you will see this. When you choose yes, you will, you will, you will see this here. So I would like to study that course. Choose yes. Okay. Feature the following German test. Will you be able to prove? Okay. With this, I don't have any German test, so none of that have. Then feature the following English language test. Will you be able to prove as part of your application? Okay. So um, we are native speakers. So Ghana is a native speaker, Nigeria is a native speaker, India is a native speaker, um, Kenya is a native speaker, then other countries, South Africa, then other countries too. So I'll choose native speaker. Okay, so I'll click next. okay it has automatically converted or translated the language for me okay so welcome to the application of the universe of monster so you read read a lot about this then after the information then i'll click on continue Okay, this one is not translating for me, so I'll just refresh the page for me. Okay, if you're on this page, it asks us to provide a program that you want to study. That's field of study and degree. So, degree selection, I'll choose. Um, 
um, business developments then it's already there I hear about confirm you have to read you confirm it so apply selection so I said we should, we should choose a maximum of three courses so um, I'll add another one to thus uh, information systems so, uh, then I'll add um, another one thus uh, mathematics Okay, so I'll confirm again, I'll continue. Okay, so we are here to input some information here. So you're asking uh, how many years did you study at the university for university? So it asks them, so it is, it's, it's, um it means you should just key in this format that's this is how the format is this is how the format is so um four comma zero that's how it will be then which in which country did you last study so Ghana Do, do you have to write a thesis uh, enter yes if you are writing or have written a thesis okay have written I wrote, wrote thesis then have you already completed your thesis yes okay so let me see when I choose no oh okay because because of time um, so when you get time you have to go through all this you have to check all this so for me I'll just know we will just know um, in Ghana most of the um, bachelor bachelor degree they wrote um, they wrote um, thesis that's bachelor's thesis so because of time so I don't want to spend much more time so I'll click on continue So it asks him when did you finish your studies abroad? So you should, you should go by in this format. Okay, let me let me go back because others will make mistakes. Others will make mistakes. Okay, others will make mistakes about this. I don't want people to make mistakes. So let's say let me choose yes. Then have you completed it? Yes. And then um, let me see. For me, I built um, e voting system. E. e voting system. Then um, enter your credit. So. Um, I'll enter let's see which credit I've forgotten <laughs> so it will be around um, let's see three comma comma zero then enter the grid which um, grade I've forgotten so let's see um, three comma five so indicate the area or choose order then okay it is quite very simple then when you complete you also it to be um I completed 2018 so the date um that's 31st 
dots you should type the same thing as um, seven dots sorry dots 2018 then are you in the top 10 percent of your senior yeah yes then optionary these are all optional let me let me let me translate this because i don't know okay so uh, please explain what kind of documents you can prove so i'll write um, um bachelor bachelor degree certificates and transcripts and transcripts um, transcript them um, let me add English proficiency you can enter the city in which you completed school um, okay okay let me just say the school Omase. so you can enter the final goal of your bachelor you can enter the subject that you did so I did um, computer science science you can enter the final goal of your it's optional so i'll leave it up have you already stayed completed your studies yes so i'll we will continue so with this um it will ask for for personal information it asks for personal information so I'll key in a name. Um, I'll key in a name Ken. Ken, the other one is um, Ken George. Then mail. Um, the masculine. Okay, so last name George. So this is a bit. Um, okay, I'll key in any data bit because I can't use my real data bit. Um, but no, this one's too. It looks so good. This a bit, let's say, Kumasi. Then country, a bit, let's say, Ghana. Then street house, then the rest, you can just fill it if not, actually enter the room floor. Okay, let's see. That's um, um, I forty five city name zero zero two three three. Is it positive? Okay, is it commercial? It's not even a history. Commercial. They have country of residence. Um, Ghana, phone number, K 
I will just key in any any phone number. Okay, in any phone number, okay, email, then email control, then the rest. Okay, let me um, let me use um, I can use MC Japan Ghana. Okay, street number, street house. Okay. Um, um sango okay let me use sango address let's say three six five okay so okay so continue Okay, so this is how the application is done. Let me translate it. This is how the application is done. This is the application portal. So you read the rest. Um, your application may not yet be completed. Not the further information in mail to receive the same. Okay, so when you click on send, they will, um, they will send you another procedure for you to follow so that you will know how things go through it's very very easy but very tricky if you are very first time applying to this school it's very very easy so they sent me an email so I have to go and confirm then log in again then um, continue with the, with, the, with the processing okay with this they ask you for your transcripts your bachelor degree or english proficiency maybe they'll ask you for um your um, your recommendation letter the rest so it all depends on you if even if maybe some schools do they will require you to legalize your documents okay so at this point i encourage you to continue with the process Okay, we'll meet you next time. Bye.